So there's going to be eight parts to the class, eight separate units, each uh, of which is going to be, uh, what I figured out, 11% of your, your grade. Okay. And at the center, so I want to talk a little, real quick, just sort of very high level of, we'll do details elsewhere. High level, I just want to explain what my motivations in these assignments are and what I, how I want you to approach them. Because there is something about them that is probably going to scare a lot of you, and I don't want you to be scared like that. Um, so actually, why don't I just out with it? The thing that's going to scare you is the fact that in each unit, so there's two, three, eight of them, uh, the centerpiece is going to be an essay. And... Uh, and then a bunch of sort of peer review of the essay. That essay, don't go, don't run, it's going to be okay, I promise. Yeah, each essay is going to be about a thousand words, okay? I told you, it's okay, it's okay, don't go, don't go. Here's the thing. So there's two things I don't want you to do in this class uh, with these assignments. One is read everything that I, I give you to read, actually, or more generally, I guess, read it all the way through. I want you to skim because skimming is the thing that you will do throughout the rest of your life in your career when your boss asks you to research something, to write a report, when you need to, you know, do anything basically, you're going to skim, you're not going to read from the beginning to the end. I don't ever want you to do that. So what I want you to do instead is to practice finding the part of whatever it is that you need and then read it and you're like, okay, I think I, this is what I need. And then you read that bit and then you go, oh, but I don't really understand it because of this or these were these terms, what's going on. And then you look around in the, in, you know, the thing and you find where those things get discussed. And you're like, okay, I get it. And you know, that's the way you build up actual understanding of something that you're reading. All right. So I want you to do that. So sometimes you might look at the size of articles or files that I ask you to read, but don't freak out because I do not want you to read every word. At the same time, in writing these essays, I don't want you to do, well, okay, so the way things usually work in most of your classes, right, and, you know, cl other classes I've taught, is, uh, you know, there's a bunch of reading, there's a bunch of lecture, and then we're like, okay, we've said words to you, now go and write an essay, and then you sit down, and you're like, oh, I have to write an essay, um, after all of this stuff has happened. That's not the way it's going to work here. What I want you to do instead is start by the writing of the essay and you know sort of work out from that right so what you're going to do is um you know sort of try to break focus on yeah. so the way that you're going to learn basically is by trying to figure out something while you're writing the essay so think of it this way all of that you know those parts in a regular class where you'd be sitting there listening to lectures or uh, sitting there staring at, word, at words in an article that you don't want to be reading, all of that time, you're just going to be writing the essay. Okay, So hopefully with that in mind, the sheer word count is not going to be as uh, daunting as it might seem. And, you know, that's actually the way I think you should approach things. I think it's the, you know, because what you really, I really want you to get out of this class um, is a bit of confidence in your ability to figure stuff out, right? I'm going to try to set up the essays to help you do that. Um, but at the end of the day, what I'm asking you to do is to sort of figure stuff out um, in a, in a pretty structured way. And obviously I'm going to be here to help you out and give you as many resources as I can, but that's what I want you to do. I want you to be focused. You're going to, you know, from minute one in each of our units, you're going to be working on the essay. So it's not this additional task that's, you know, huge and eats up your time and is horribly and painful, horrible and painful. Instead, it's kind of the whole thing that you're going to do. So it's not going to be as bad as, as it might seem. I promise. In addition to the, the writing the essay, which again is the big thing for each of these units, um, what I'm going to have you do is, um, so in addition, I'm going to have you do some pretty serious peer review. And the peer review is actually going to be the main f uh, way that you're going to give feedback. In fact, I'm actually going to have you grade each other's uh, essays. There's each of, you know, there's a certain amount of points, and I'll talk about that in something written. Um, but basically half of the grade is going to come from me and half of their grade is going to come from you. And the reason for this is not that I'm lazy or, okay, it's not just that I'm lazy, but the reason for this is that I, when I teach a new class, I, um, 
I feel like I don't really fully master anything that I'm teaching. I mean, this is me, the person teaching. I feel like I don't really get my head around something until I've actually graded one of the exams or the essays. Um, and the reason for that is that when you're grading something, you know, you've got your understanding of what's going on, right? And you will too, because you just wrote an essay on this. Um, you've got your understanding of what's going on, and now somebody else is coming at you, and they've got a somewhat different understanding or, you know, of, of the topic, right? They're emphasizing different points that you thought were unimportant. Um, and it, you really have to kind of take a different perspective and it really forces you to really think through what's going on. So I think actually, you know, so basically I had this thought a while back that, you know, y grading's kind of wasted on me, right? <laughs> I, I learn stuff pretty well. But, you know, so if I could find a way for you guys to have the same kind of learning experience, uh, that would be really beneficial. So what will happen is you'll turn in the essay and then you will get somebody else's essay to to do a review on and it's going to be you know a long a, a assignment on canvas will have uh some multiple choice kind of things uh forms of feedback some you know sort of short answer things where you'll write comments and whatnot um and then you'll submit that and then to make sure that everybody has an incentive to do a good job in reviewing uh there's going to be a second review, a review of the review, right? I'm going to call this the meta review. And unfortunately, that terminology is probably going to confuse folks sometimes, but sorry, um, I can't think of a better term. If you got one, let me know. Um, so what the person who wrote the essay will do is they'll look at the review and then they will give you, you, the reviewer, feedback on how good a job you did reviewing them. So, and in fact, they will determine part of your grade as the reviewer. So, me being pretty sneaky there, uh, there will be some details about how the points work and all that to make sure that your incentives are lined up so everybody will hopefully do a good job and hopefully learn as much as you can out of this process. Because, you know, I think what you're practicing here are skills that you're gonna have to use all over life, right? Giving other people feedback on something important. Um, you wanna make sure that you're direct and you're clear in the feedback, but also do it in a way that's compassionate and, you know, be a decent human being about it. I want you to practice that here too, right? So uh, that's that's the main structure for each of the units. It will have, it will be sort of essay, review of the essay, and then review of the review of the essay. All right.